evacuation order lifted this evening, allowing people to come out here and see the damage for themselves. Some doing a double take before realizing that this is a roof. It's amazing that the woman that was trapped underneath all of this debris is physically okay tonight, but her son tells me she is shaken. She's fine. We talked to Brooks Gordon in front of the debris. He truly had to see to believe. I gotta be honest with you, I didn't realize how what the magnitude was um, of, of what had happened until I actually watched the video after I had gotten off the phone with my mom, who was in the hospital. Gordon's 75-year-old mother, Susan, was sleeping in her Sausalito duplex with her cat, Peaches. When their home went sliding down this hill and into another house, her son says she woke up neck deep in mud. I'm shocked and extremely happy that she's still with us. This is a photo of Susan at the hospital. Amazingly, just cuts and bruises. She's a bit frazzled. Anyone would be. First responders evacuated dozens of homes near the mudslide scene. Neighbors running up and down the street trying to get out. As of 5 p.m., people were allowed back into their homes, but crews red tagged six properties, which means they're not safe. Zach Garza lives in one of them. He recorded this video from his balcony as he returned home to grab a few items. He says the mudslide sounded like a freight train. Right next to our bedroom, um, it, almost on the top of the house, it felt like something was crashing down. Garza is staying on a friend's couch in Novato for now. At this moment, like Gordon, he's simply feeling thankful. Work to clear the debris on Sausalito Boulevard, where this all started, will begin tomorrow. And we've really watched the community step up here for the woman involved, Susan Gordon. Look at this $20,000 has been raised already just today on her GoFundMe.